What's up YouTube, Local Paradox here bringing you a deck profile for my green black zombie deck. Now this one will be changing completely once I get my hands on the rest of the new Amon kit uh, cards. But I'll show you what I've got as is right now. Because I like green black but uh, the new Amon kit black white so it's going to work better. So let's get started for it. First off of course, we got three Lord of the Cursed. I replaced uh, one of the other uh, zombies that was kind of like it. <clears throat> this one right here. Uh, I mean, it's 2-3 two, for 2. But, I mean, he's one more. And of course, you get plus 1, plus 1. Yeah, it's 3 of now. 4, of course, of Crit Breaker. Um, he's also going to be replaced by that new one. Um, the Jackal one, it's, 2-1 for 2, or 2-1 for 1, excuse me. Um, still not terrible for now. Okay. Next up, of course, we have 4 Putrid Leeches. Not bad. 2-2 two, two for 2 drop. You get to pay 2 life once per turn. It's not terrible, but those are getting replaced with uh, some of the new... Uh, this Wandering one. I don't know what it's called. I don't know. When I do the upgrade, I'll show you. Low left troll. Discard a card. Creature card. Put one counter on it. It's got trample. Generate. Not bad. But be better. One of the main creatures for the deck, of course. Drolf's Messenger. I mean, he does. Your opponent loses two life just from hitting the field. I mean, he's 3 2 for 3. He's got Undying. Which is super nice. The other main card from the deck, of course. Diagraph Colossus. I mean, the fact that it can get big already if you just have some cool blue zombies in the graveyard. And then if you just keep casting the little, little zombies, it keeps creating more tokens. Craziness. Pretty much whenever he hits the, the board, if I'm playing against any one of counter spells, it's the first thing they're going to want to do. Get rid of him. Four Diagraph Ghouls, 2-2 two, two for 1, only drawback is enters and tapped, oh no. Four Grave Crawlers, I mean, 2-1 two, for 1, they can cast from a graveyard if he's on the zombies only, drawback is you can't block, which I admit zombies are terrible in defense anyways, but yeah. Uh, that's all for the creatures, I don't run a lot of spells, but this is also going to end up changing. Four Terrors. Run over most stuff, assuming you're not playing against another black deck or artifacts. Then three murders. Because murder can destroy anything. It's all the creatures. The spells. We've got 14 swamps. Black swamps got some full arts. Around two forests. Got to play some planes, obviously. One evolving wilds. Get forest or whatever you need. Foul archer or orchard. Mostly because it's a by land and just enters and tapped. Replace it. Four jungle hollows. Kind of like foul archer. It. Enters and tap for, and it's uh, green black, but I gain a life. The scry lands are a little better, I just don't have any on hand. So that's the main deck. I'll go over uh, the sideboard just because, but this is all going to change as well. For Petrifies, this is pretty much what I end up citing in the most, particularly when I'm going against uh, art, art, mostly artifact decks or other black decks because you don't use. You don't want to use terror in, in against black cards. One duress, because I only have one on hand. It's good in certain circumstances. Bunch of natural. Here we go. Four naturalize. Story target, artifact or enchantment.
one dismember. Not great, but something I had on hand. Because it destroys anything. It's just it costs a lot of mana to use. Gleeful uh, Sabotage, kind of like, uh, you know, naturalized, but you can also use Conspire with it, so it's a little better. Plus, I have Nap 2 on hand. Creeping Mold. You can also get lands if I need to destroy lands. Just run the one of. Seal of Peridium. Primordium. I don't know. Throw one in there. Get rid of them. Last thing, a Molder. If I never need to gain life. So the sideboard's mostly green stuff. It's um, just tech cards I threw in just in case I needed them, but honestly, I mostly just end up siding in Putrefy. Uh, like I said, when I switched over to Black White, I'm going to turn in you know some of the other newer stuff, but of course, this is a modern deck. Uh, with new zombie stuff, you could probably make a standard on it, but honestly, zombies are better and more uh, than uh, modern. But who knows what the future sport will have. Well, anyways, um, thanks for watching. Just go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment, and of course hit that subscribe button, and I'll be showing you more deck profiles for Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh!, uh, if you want me to do any other card games, just go ahead and um, start supporting my channel more, and I'll expand it anything else anyone requests. Um, this has been Local Paradox. Thank you very much. See you next time.